Parrying in Elden Ring is just like any other action in this game. You have the startup, the active, and the end lag. The trick to learning how to parry is timing the active hitbox of your enemy's attack to your active hitbox of the parry tool. The buckler parry is one of the best parry tools in this game because of how long the active hitbox lasts, but we'll get back to that one in a bit. Let's first delve into how to parry. Pull the left trigger. Congratulations, you just parried. When I go for a parry, I am watching the enemy's hand. When it looks like their hand is going to be making contact with my body, that's when I pull the trigger. Now let's slow down that clip even more and take it step by step. Starting off, the enemy and I are both in our idle animations. Nothing is happening. The enemy has now entered the wind-up or start-up of their attack. Now, at this point, the enemy has changed to their attack animation. This is approximately where you would want to pull the trigger. By watching an enemy's hand, one can more easily tell when they have entered their attack animation. Here is where I have actually pulled the trigger, thereby entering my own state of wind-up or start-up. This is where the buckler has turned into an active hitbox, which will last for about 11 frames. The enemy's attack collides with my active parry hitbox, and now I enter my own state of end lag. With that information out of the way, let's move on to parry tools. Excluding the special Ashes of War that are parry related, there are seven different parrying tools in Elden Ring. They are the Buckler, the Dagger, Small Shield and Medium Shield, the Fist slash Claw, the Curved Sword, and the Thrusting Sword. With an 8 frame startup and 11 active frames, the Buckler is my personal favorite option. My second choices would be the Dagger with a 12 frame startup and 9 active frames, and the Small Shield, 11 startup, 11 active. The other options uh, completely suck. The Medium Shield and Curve Sword both have a startup of 12 frames, like the Dagger does as well. The difference, though, is that instead of a decent 9 active frames, like the Dagger, the Medium Shield and Curve Sword only have 5 active frames. That is less than half of the active frames of the Small Shield and Buckler. The Fist Slash Claw and the Thrusting Sword have 13 frames of startup, and once again only a pathetic 5 active frames. Please do not use these weapons for parrying, they suck. <laughs> 